Hello from Slidered and hello from Vids. What's going on, folks? What's up? How are you guys doing today? In this vid, I'm going to be talking about how to find the least common multiple of two numbers. You heard this in maths. Now I'm very bad at maths. I had to wiki this entire thing up to find out what LCM means. But now, let me go ahead and show you the output. Enter the two numbers, 4 and 8. The LCM is 8 in this case. You can check it by working this out on the paper or maybe try out uh, LCM calculators which you get on Google. So let me go ahead. There's another number 4 and 6. The LCM is 12. So now we are going to see what and how this thing is derived. So let's go ahead. So first, there are guys probably watching this vid who don't know what LCM is or how it works. I can understand because you have forgotten it because we did it when we were kids, right? It's a long time since we did stuff like this. So let me go ahead and show you what it is. If you have 4 and 6 over here, simply take the multiples of 4 which is 8, 12, 16 and if you take 6, 12, 8, 24, 20 and it goes on, right? And if you see, if you guys observe, there are some common numbers. Now can you see these common numbers? This is 12 in both the places, 24 is in both the places, right? Now these are called common multiples, alright? Now what is the least common multiple? Of course, it's obvious, it's the smallest multiple which is common among both the numbers, 12. So this is the LCM of 4 and 6. So now we are going to go ahead and see how to do this using a Java program. So here there are different cases. Now let me go ahead. There are two numbers A and B and there's the LCM which we are calculating, right? A and B both can be 0. In that case, your LCM is going to be 0. A is, A is 0. B is something else. Let's say it's not 0. Then in that case, still the LCM is going to be 0. Again, if A is something, B is 0. It's going to be 0 again, alright? Now the this is one of the cases where A is 0 or B is 0. Now, if you have both the numbers the same, again, your LCM is going to be the number itself in that case. If you take a number like 8 and 4, now this is a very special case. In this case, if you guys see 8 and 4, they are perfectly, I mean, 8 is a perfect multiple of uh, 4, right? I mean, if you divide 8 by 4, you're going to get a remainder of 0. And if you see 4 into 2 is 8, you can. it's pretty obvious. In these cases, when one number is a multiple of the other number, the LCM is the bigger number. Simple, right? Take a look. 4 and 8 in the reverse order. When one number is a multiple, that is 8 is a multiple of 4. Again, the LCM is going to be the multiple itself, the bigger number, right? And last but not the least, this is the general case for which we find LCM. Let's say 4 and 6 over here. In that case, the LCM becomes 12. We are going to see how to do this, how to calculate this 12, all right? 6 and 4, it doesn't matter which order the numbers are in. The LCM is still going to be the same, right? So as you guys can see, I told you about the different cases, A is 0 or B is 0, that's one of the conditions. Here if you see, A is greater than B and A is a multiple of B, in that case the LCM is the number A itself, right? In the second case, A is less than B, B is a multiple of A, you guys can see obviously over here, B itself is the LCM, right? And the normal case where A is less than B but there are no multiples and A is greater than B, again there are no multiples. So now, in this vid, we are going to probably talk about the first six cases over here. The last two cases are going to be a long bit, so I'm going to be covering them in the next bit. So the first case, one number is zero. We simply put a condition over here and we say if A is zero or B is zero, LCM is zero, right? Second case, both are equal. Again, we can easily check that. If A equals equals B, we can say the LCM is A or LCM is B, right? Third, A is less than B. B is a multiple of A. As I told you, if you take four and eight, A is less than B, right? And if we take the multiple of 4, which is going to be 8 itself, in that case, the LCM is 8, right? So let me go ahead and show you the conditions. This is how you do it. You say if A less than B, right? And then, once you know that A is less than B, you have to test for the multiple condition, right? That, is, that means you take the larger number, divide the smaller number by it, and check the remainder, right? If it is perfectly divisible, the remainder is going to be 0. B percent A means that we are going to take 8 we are going to divide that by 4 using the modulus operator and that is going to give us the remainder because we are using the modulus operator, right? That is what the modulus operator does in Java. So that being said, the remainder is going to be 0. In that case, the LCM is going to be the bigger number which is B, right? And that's exactly what we are doing. But here I have written an else over here and you guys are probably wondering what it means. So here in the else part, I have written we will see over here. Now this else, when do we say that uh, we go inside this condition? If suppose you have a number like 4. And you have a number like 7. In that case, 7 is not a multiple of 4. And that is when we go inside this else part, right? So in this case, we are going to go ahead in the further slide and see what we are going to do with this, all right? So let me go ahead in the next slide. Again, this is the same thing, just reversed. If you have 8 first and 4 second, then that's going to be the same thing pretty much. You take the smaller number, which is B in your case, right? You say same thing over here. If B is less than A, or you can say A is greater than B, 
then simply have your a that is a8 8, 8 uh, modulus 4 take the remainder of this division if that is 0 the lcm is the larger number which is going to be our 8 in this case right else again if there is a number like 7 and you have a number like 4 over here so in that case 7 is not a multiple of 4 so we are going to go inside this else part right and this is the part which i have kept common at the end so in this video we are going to be talking about uh, how to do the first six cases in the next bit, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the last case is all about. So let's go ahead and let beans and first make the six cases working. All right. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Let's get this plane flying. So we'll carry forward in the next vid. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment. Let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.